We have evolved alongside the honeybee in a symbiotic relationship. We care for them, they pollinate our crops, and of course, make lots of delicious honey. But getting the golden nectar has always been quite a task. Turn a tap, sit back, and watch the honey pour out. It's pure, unprocessed, untouched, delicious honey directly from the hive. No mess, no fuss, no expensive equipment, and much more friendly for the bees. This is the first time in the world this has been possible. There is nothing else like it. It really is a revolution. We can see into the hive, we can see when the honey's ready, and we can take it away in such a gentle way. What a wonderful thing. The flow frames are designed with clear ends so you can easily check the hive is healthy and the colony is strong. You can watch all the girls turning nectar into honey and see when it's ready and isolate individual combs allowing you to taste all the different flavours of the seasons. You can just harvest one frame and get 3 kilograms of honey or harvest more than 20 kilograms per box. Being able to tap it off so easily means that when there is a good honey flow you can keep up with the bees and harvest a lot more honey. So how does it work? The flow frame consists of already partly formed honeycomb cells. The bees complete the comb with their wax and fill the cells with honey, capping it off, ready for harvest. When you turn the handle, our patented split cell technology creates channels inside the comb, allowing the honey to flow down and out of the hive while the bees are undisturbed on the comb surface. Turn the tap again, which resets the comb into the original position and allows the bees to chew the wax back and fill it with honey again. For the commercial beekeeper, the frames are built to accommodate a pneumatic system, which means you can flick a switch and harvest your whole apiary at once. We've been testing prototypes with beekeepers from around the world. I've spent hours taking honey out of hives. This system is just, blows my mind. I tell you, I was very excited too when it actually worked. You know, when I actually put the tubes in and watched the honey come out, I was sitting there going, <laughs> what? <laughs> I was completely amazed and surprised at the amount of honey that came out. It was easy to use and there was very little disturbance to the whole hive. It's this oversimplistic idea of how a hive can work and yet you're, you've actually accomplished that. That's, that's mind-boggling. That's amazing. Over the last decade we have been through many prototypes. We now have our design finalised and have been testing it for the past three years. Now we would like you to join us and become part of this evolution in beekeeping. We are currently working with a top Australian manufacturer to produce the highest quality product. However, to produce on a large scale will require expensive tooling and the capital to produce all the parts at a volume discount. This is where we need your help through crowdfunding. To make our flow hive affordable and available to everyone. Bees are such a crucial part of our world. So if you're not ready for a hive of your own, but you would like to support this new innovation and a new community of beekeepers around the globe, then please make a donation pledge. Or perhaps you've been dreaming of having your very own beehive in your backyard, on your rooftop, in your community garden or school. Well now is the time, and it's never been so easy for the beekeeper, and so easy on the bees. For less than the cost of a standard beehive and extracting equipment, you can have our super efficient bee friendly flow hive. Or maybe you already have bees and just want to add our flow frames to your hive so you can experience the joy of watching the bees and harvesting honey in this new way. To reward you for jumping in early and helping us kickstart this project, we are offering this invention at a discounted rate. Be one of the first in the world to have delicious fresh honey on tap straight from the hive with none of the messy hard work or disturbance to the bees. So we pulled this flow frame out of the hive to put it on the bench so you can see it in action and see a close up of how it all works. Now, of course you don't have to remove it out of the box to get the honey, we're just doing this for a demonstration. You can see the bees have really drawn the, the wax out and completed all the cells and filled it full of honey. There's still a few cells here that they haven't completed. Let's have a closer look. You can see the way they've capped it beautifully. Have a look, still some cells there that haven't been capped. You can see here they haven't quite finished filling the comb. They saved those end cells to last, so you get a really good idea of how full and ready the honey is. 
because you want it to be mostly capped before you harvest. There's a cap that comes out at the top, that's where the tool goes in. And there's one at the bottom that comes out. And this is where the tube goes in. So I've just got a short tube here, just for the purpose of demonstrating and getting the honey to our jar. So you'll see two slots here. Now the bottom one's used to open the cells and harvest the honey. You can use one tool or two. I'm gonna use two here because they'll work against each other and won't tip the frame over. So all I have to do is move these down like so. And what's happened is inside the honeycomb, the cells have split and turned into channels for the honey to flow down and out of the hive. So let's have a look at that. Grab uh, I look down the honey tube. Oh. Look at that, isn't that absolutely gorgeous? That beautiful honey just draining down. Wow. Let me get a bit closer. Ooh, there it goes. So you can see that quite quickly draining out of the frame. Look at that honey just pouring out. That beautiful fresh honey. So you notice it's pretty much free from wax. It just comes out pure and clean. There's no filtering needed. So you can see here the dark area. That's where the honey's still draining down. Where it's light, the honey's actually all drained out already. So here you can see the capping hasn't actually changed. The bees are standing on top of this and the honey just drains out from beneath their feet. The capping has, hasn't has really been disturbed at all. Over here you can see how the channels are formed inside the comb. Well, they haven't capped it, we get a really good look at that. See those zigzagging channels that guide the honey down and out of the hive. It's been about 10 minutes and we've got that much honey already. About 1.5 kilograms. Mm. So we continually get the feedback from beekeepers that it tastes like comb honey. It tastes like when you chew on fresh honeycomb. And we think it's because the honeys aren't mixed up. They're not mixed with all the other frames in the hive. And the honey hasn't been spun through the air in the centrifuge and exposed to all that oxygen. Apparently honey loses some of its floral flavours from oxidisation. It's been 20 minutes and now I've got that much honey. Still a few drips dripping from the ceiling. Gorgeous. When we've done that, you can see here a fresh one that's had no wax on it yet and you can see the space we've left so the bees won't get a wing or a leg caught. So to reform the honeycomb so the bees can fill it up again we use the top slot. So it's a matter of putting your tool in the top here and turning it once again and that's it. The honeycomb is now ready for the bees to fill again. Now another thing we've designed is that if you forget and you leave that up, I'll just put that up again, you can't actually get the, the cap to go in. So to remind you that you need to put the comb back into the cell form position for the bees to fill with honey, we've made it so you do actually have to close the cells again. And then the cap will go in. So the honey's coming out nice and slow now. And if I'm in a hurry and I don't want to wait any longer, I can take this tube out. And we've designed a little point here. That means when we put this cap in, 
any remaining honey will drain out of the trough and back into the hive. So we'll put that cap in now and, and you can actually watch the bees leaking up through this little slot and they'll clean that whole trough out just by continuing to lick the honey and that way there's no honey left in the trough going fermented or candied. Look at that big jar of honey. Isn't that beautiful? Now the bees will notice all the honey is drained from out of the cells. They'll chew all that capping off in a day or two and be refilling it with honey again. It's a wonderful thing. So we've been working on this for over a decade and we're so excited to bring it to the world. If you're interested and want to support the whole thing, make a pledge. Look at all those bees. Bees, bees. Bees, bees. Oh, look. Look, honey.